Um, one off, we'll do this fast. Uh, if you're in 11U, when you look at this, you will say to me, I want to use cosine law. Okay, that's what you will say. No, I'm not joking, like I'm seriously. Okay, people will say I like cosine law. Uh, I'm not going to use cosine law today, I'm going to use Sokotoa. Sokotoa is the foundation of um, trade, we will be using it lots in this course. Can someone feel exceptionally brave? John, and solve for X, go ahead. Um, you're going to use sine. Yeah. Um, so sine is equal to octane over hypotenuse. Good. So you're going to have sine 40 equals 12 over x. Good. So you another volunteer to isolate x for me. Nick, go ahead. Um, x becomes 12 over time over time 40. Yeah. And I can't do that in my head. So please use the power of the calculator. How much? How much? 18.67 radians. Okay, now one thing. This is in degrees, it's going to be because it's a good question. Now, I just want to comment on something. Caitlin Sullivan came in here yesterday or Thursday and said uh, they don't use degrees in calculus, and that's true. We're not in calculus, so we're in vector right now. So they will be using degrees in this section. Let's get back to the trade part of calculus and solve matrix. Yes. You just specify. No, it does matter. The question was that matters degrees are radians hugely. Okay, because degrees are radians affects the angle here, right? That's the measure. So this is this was 40 radians. 40 radians would be like 10 times around a circle, right? So I'm saying like if you convert, if you convert the 40 into radians. Yes, that's so right. Yes. So yeah, so good good song, yeah. If you want to call this 40 over 180, 40 pi over 180, then that's fine. Okay, let's get to our real question here today. Vectors. Yeah. All right, so a vector. What is a vector? Apologize to those that are doing uh, 12D physics right now, because today will be a lot of review. Uh, but if you haven't taken physics, this is entirely new. Thank you so much. Okay, an example would be something like uh, 300 kilometers uh, north, 30 degrees east. And for the three quarters of this class that I had in 11U over the years, you'll recognize that around grade 10. All those navigation questions were really vector questions. I didn't call them that in grade 10 because you would have been scared, right? But that's basically what you're doing with vectors all the way back there. The other option is a scalar. Uh, only has magnitude. example of this is just um, 180 miles per hour, which hopefully no one will ever drive in your life, okay? But that's something you're just going at speed. Hopefully you're going horizontally, I'm hoping, but we'll see. Yes? So how is the word magnitude used in this sense? Because the way I understand magnitude is six. So. Magnitude, all, it's just, it's just a, a number, that's all we're saying for magnitude, okay? okay. Um, it's just like a distance. Like, remember back in grade 10, we did like distance between points and all that sort of stuff? Yeah. We're doing all that stuff in grade 11. Or the 11th, we're clearly in calculus right now with the three dimensions and all that stuff. We're extending all that stuff. So, magnitude is just the distance. It's just treated like distance. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. Put that into SI unit miles. Yeah. Sorry. What's that times 2.2? There we go. A true bearing um, begins at north and rotates clockwise.
which bothers me tremendously, but that's what the true bearing is. Okay, so think of it zero degrees means you're heading north. Okay, that's the difference. Um, 45 degrees, degrees would be, I guess, 45 would be northeast, thank you, uh, and then so on, and it rotates like this, which is weird. Because in trig, you thought you just thought this is zero and rotates this way. Unfortunately, when it talks about bearing north of zero. Okay. We'll do a few questions at this down here. Here we go, I want to discuss the following vectors. Uh, I try not to use true bearing with the textbook will, um, so you should be aware of it. So it's a sketch the following vectors. A is going to be uh, 20 kilometers and 90 degrees. All right. Who wants to brave other than John? John is always brave. How did you draw 20 kilometers at 190 degrees or bearing 190 degrees? Reed, go ahead. Um, well, I would think of the axis and where my 190 is. Yeah. And they were there. And I would draw about 20 kilometers. Okay. Where is zero degrees again? North. So you're going to go from this. There's 90, right? There's 180. We're going to get 20 kilometers. That makes sense, right? 90, right? Back up to 190. Maybe you're on a one to one scale, but you don't a really big board. I don't know. Yes, you would. Um, what's another way I can write that in sort of north, south, east, west bearing? How would I write that? West. So that was 10 degrees west, right? It's the same as 20 kilometers. Has everyone in the class seen that notation? 20 kilometers south, 10 degrees west? If you haven't, you haven't? Okay. So we'll do a few navigation problems today. All this means is you're pointing south, and then you rotate 10 degrees to the west. Okay, so pointing south and rotate the Okay? Good? I know if you're taking physics, I know you're following the right now. I apologize. Okay. Pick up. It's fine. We're wrong. Uh, B is going to be. Uh, we'll say uh, 18 uh, newtons north 30 degrees west. Okay. We're up to to Shannon Kelly, you're up. How do you draw north 30 degrees west? Yeah. And it would be partway. Yeah. Now we're west though, right? So this is um, west, right? So think of the way it comes. So there's north. Yes. Why do mathematicians love this north south south stuff? Love this north south east west stuff. Dimensional is good. I was going to say this though. There are red angles everywhere. Okay. There are triangles everywhere. Okay, right? There's all sorts of stuff like that. So think of that always. That the reason will not the reason, but the reason. These are easy to solve all these questions because they're always right angle stuff. That's why I started with. Are we ever going to do stuff where it's curved? Vectors that are curved? No. Uh, I mean, first year calculus, you know, for sure. Right? They, they love doing that where they show you the globe, they'll show a vector form from here to here. Right? But I don't think, I'm trying to think, I don't think so. If this is Mr. Cap's class, that would be a part of Stephen or Simon in Mr. Cap's class, but um, I'm not like that. Yes? So, like, when it says 18 newtons or yeah. as the unit is, yeah. like, do you just write 18 n or is yeah. there a No, that's, that's all I need to do for that. Okay. We'll talk about notation and all that stuff in a little bit, but that's not um, that's good. Okay. Um, let's just talk about how you draw a vector here, okay? This is a vector. I'm going to hit pause for one second. Because it's correct. I'm going to stop actually. 